The AstroTurfed Kamala Harris campaign has turned out to be such an embarrassment that now even Saturday Night Live can't help themselves from making fun of her. Here's a skit where the candidates were playing Family Feud and she was bragging about going on all of those podcasts recently. And then this happened. Yeah, and it's working. My campaign has raised a billion dollars. Oh my Lord. How are you not winning by a landslide? <laughs> <laughs> question I scream into my pillow every morning. Say it's nobody watches Saturday Night Live anymore because it stopped being funny decades ago. You may not be aware that for the last four years, they haven't really made fun of old Joe or Kamala, despite, well, I guess it is low hanging fruit in the comedy world, but it should have been a staple of the show on a regular basis. If they only would have been doing comedy like this, then they wouldn't be on the verge of being canceled people surveyed top six answers on the board name something that you keep in your glove compartment oh vp harris steve look i was raised in a middle class family all right oh here we go okay here my mother go. raised my sister and me mm -hmm. all right yeah. she worked hard and saved up yeah uh-huh and we had a second mother too okay did that mother have a glove compartment <laughs> Small business. Dana Carvey, who left the show in 1993, even returned to portray the greatest impression of old Joe ever. Glove box. I like to buy a vowel. <laughs> well, that is, that's, that's the wrong game, player. Come on, Conan. <laughs> what are you doing? It's me. I'm still the president. I'm Joe. I may be older, but I'll beat the hell out of you. <laughs> I'll pop you. I'll give you an Uncle Sandwich. I know how to do it. I can make sandwiches. And guess what? Here's the deal. I'm not the old one now. Trump is. The only difference I know when to walk away. About six months too late. Okay, show me whatever that was. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bill Clinton was spotted in a McDonald's interacting with the average Democrat voter who was operating the cash register who... Confused him with Joe Biden. So she recognizes him somewhat, knows he's some famous guy, former president. Are you Joe? She asked. But Slick Willie, not even Obama, can instill the confidence in Kamala that the Democrats need to try to push her over the finish line now in just a few weeks. This is a national head-to-head -head poll. Is that Vice President Kamala Harris had a five-point lead in our last poll taken a month ago right after the debate. That lead has all but evaporated, Willie. Take a look at this new head-to-head -head matchup. 48% to 48%. That is what we call a dead locked race. That is what we call the effects of her actually finally sitting down and doing some interviews and, well, failing to answer basic questions. Would you like to share some good news with us too, CNN? All right, so party ID nationally. You go to October, November of 2016, Democrats had a three-point advantage. You go four years ago, Democrats had a six-point advantage. Look at where we are today, Manu. Mm. Republicans wow. with a one-point advantage. A very different picture, very much mirroring what we see in the party registration numbers in those key battleground states and Pennsylvania in particular. And it actually just shows you, too, why Harris is taking, doing what she's trying to do. She's trying to, she's trying to moderate a little bit on these issues, trying to reach those very voters because the party registration is changing and the demographics of the voters are changing. And those are the people she needs to attract. Absolutely. And you know, <laughs> the demographics are changing, meaning black people are leaving the Democrat plantation. <laughs> Finally. Here's Democrat Congressman Jim Clyborne from South Carolina being asked about it. Uh, your friend, Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, who you campaigned with in Michigan, says that the message she's hearing from black men is, quote, Democrats take us for granted. Donald Trump talks to us directly. Are you concerned about black men voting for Trump, Trump or staying home? Uh, well, thank you very much for having me. Yes, I am concerned uh, about black men staying home or voted for Trump, uh, but my concerns don't uh, uh, tend to keep me uh, from being energetic uh, about this campaign, uh, because I was in Michigan uh, campaigning with Debbie. I am very energetic 
uh, excited about this campaign. And because the Democrats always accuse Republicans of the exact thing that they themselves are guilty of, Camelface is on the campaign trail claiming that Donald Trump is in hiding. <laughs> well, if you watch the clown news, MSNBC, you might think that because all they do is show her campaign rallies 24 seven and just complain about Donald Trump. But here she is saying that he is running scared from her. And here's the thing, here's the thing. It makes you wonder, it makes you wonder why does his staff want him to hide away? One must question, one must question. Are they afraid that people will see that he is too weak and unstable to lead America? Is that I'm, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> I'm a strong black woman, yo. You got to admit that she actually is pretty good on the teleprompter. She has a whole team of expert speech writers, and she is pretty eloquent reading off the teleprompter. But when it freezes, that's a whole other story. 32! Today we got 32 days until the election. This clip is obviously a week and a half old. Now it's 21 days, just so you know. <laughs> and the teleprompter froze. <laughs> so 32 days. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. All right. 32 days. And we know... We know that you can't even ad lib for five seconds until they get the teleprompter working again. 21 days, three weeks, guys, until the election. So buckle up and get ready because time's going to fly and things are going to start to get very intense here very soon. Subscribe to my channel for new here. Check back on a regular basis. If you're a regular viewer, please share links to my videos on your social media accounts and give a call to action, as we say in the business, encouraging other people to subscribe. And maybe, just maybe, we can get up to 1.9 million subscribers. So thanks again. Stay tuned, and I will see you soon.